Hey guys, are you here? And yesterday I hit 2,500 as double rogue with my boy Rodak. We did it. The goal for a while was 2,400, but once we hit 2,400 pretty fast, we're like, wait, we could probably queue double rogue to 2,500, and 2,500 was the dream. We kept pushing it on stream, kept getting close, but then we would lose a bunch. We finally hit 2,500 yesterday, and I wanted to share some of the leading games up to that with you guys. So here in this first match, we're fighting a Resto Druid and a Ret Paladin. Um, right away, I, I skipped like a minute in. I I'm going to try to skip through these a little bit, just because they are a little bit resident sleeper. We sapped the uh, Druid, we sapped the Paladin as well. About 30 seconds ago, my other rogue cheap shot the ret and then instantly vanished so we didn't get any cc and that's to get his ashbringer um unbreakable will talent out of the way right away druids across the map and a sap are popping every cooldown um onto this guy actually not popping blades but i'm popping um so in that burst i pop symbols cold blood mark for death and um i guess i didn't even dance or gormas I, I just did uh, a good amount of damage there in that opener to get the bubble and my other rogue i think popped a similar amount of cooldowns as well so we got shrink it we got bubble and we got Ashbringers. So in this next go, the only thing we would really need to get is Druid's Trinket, right? Because if we go in, in a similar fashion again, um, we're going to, uh, you know, sap the Druid, sap the Pally, then he's going to Trinket Bark, right? So he's not going to actually die in this next go unless we can CC him on his Trinket and then just kill through, which could definitely be a possibility. Um, just to let you guys know, Eyes... Um, the eyes on the map spawn at 2330 and right now it's 2348 so they spawn in 18 seconds That's one of the big things for playing this comp um, I also want to go over playing other comps because I, I know a lot of you guys are like how do you ever win versus bleed comps etc So I'll try to go over that with you guys. So here I'm opening up with blades and dance I have gormas available too, symbols available too, and cold blood I probably should have popped symbols a little sooner, but roast master still learning his rogue play Yeah, I pop symbols now a little bit late, but right here I vanish and step to my rogue immediately So I don't get aoe'd out. Um, the paladin does bop himself in that go. So Every time we go, we want to try to get something, and if, we're, if we stay in too long, we're going to die because we have no healer, right? So the, this comp's all about patience, and it's all about just effective cooldown trades, and I'll talk about that more as the video goes on. Uh, the Druid has the eye, like I said, they spawn at 2330. There's another eye that spawned right behind us. We can get it in 10 seconds uh, when I vanish up, but for the time being, we're just doing our best to line of sight the Druid. And um, so we, the Druid's targeting me. When the Druid's targeting me... My other rogue is going to go for the sap onto the druid because he can't target both of us at the same time to hit us out. So since the druid's targeting me, my rogue goes for a sap. If the druid was targeting my other rogue, I would go for the sap. So he's targeting me, my rogue saps him, and he's not going to be able to get the eye. Now, I have vanish in two, one seconds right here. I'm going to go on top of the eye. Once you get the eye, once you get the debuff, boom, then you can vanish with the eye, and then I'm out. I'm clean, right? So we kind of wait for both of the eyes to spawn, reset... I'm um, like, grab the eyes and reset, and we'll wait again for Vanish. We're almost never going to open without Vanish, guys. If we open without Vanish, it's kind of like a suicide. We're, we're, it's not really good. Right here, once again, my rogue does a beautiful opener. He cheap shots the Druid, cheap shots the Paladin, and vanishes. Right away, he's getting that Ashbringer, Unbreakable Will, out of the way once again, so we can do another big go without having to actually force the um, Unbreakable Will during our go, right? So we're going to wait for a Schwap X's Trinket. Or uh, not shrink it, rather, uh, vanish and uh, go again in like uh, 30 seconds here when it's back up. So um, I think he has vanished in about 10 seconds. So we're going to sap the druid once again, sap the pally. Paladin has no trinket for 10 seconds. He has no uh, bubble and no bomb, right? Because we've already forced that. I'm using symbols and dance here in this opener. The kidney shot goes out. Druid trinkets, and we just full blind him on his trinket. And the paladin has no bot for that blind. We triple stun paladin, pop every cooldown, and he does go down. So nice match there. A lot of like little simple things a lot of uh resets and a lot of uh turtling and it might seem like really faceful and stupid but at the end of the day i think i'm trying to get the mmr to show because <laughs> this like nameplate's in the way there it is there's like 2500 mmr um but at the end of the day if you just stick to this strategy and play it really slow smart and patient i think you should win these games in this next match, we're fighting a Disc Priest and a Sub Rogue, and um, I I'm also going to show you guys some Priest Feral games as well that we went up against. I saw some guys in the comments saying, like, um, there's no way you ran Double Rogue this high. Like, how do you beat things like Feral Druids or, you know, like something with a bleed, right? Because once you they bleed you, it's really hard to actually um, to uh, to win the game because you have no healer and you can't vanish with a bleed because you're just getting knocked back out. And I'll show you some strategies that we do to beat teams with bleeds. Um, but having said that, it is very hard. You uh, maybe shouldn't win. It, it's very, very difficult. Um, so we sapped the rogue here and we sapped the priest. I think the rogue came out with Phantom Knives trying to knock us out. 
but uh, ended up getting a sap onto him. We sapped the priest after the premonition. If we sapped a little bit sooner, he would have death the sap, so nice premonition there. We open up onto the uh, rogue here with a bunch of damage. He trinket vanishes instantly, and we both just vanish right away. Um, so rogue, right away, guys. Once we get that trinket, that's all we want, right? We, there's no reason to stay in. There's no reason to keep killing when we already got the trinket, right? There's no reason. It's it's just greedy. It's, it would be really greedy of us to stay in and try to keep killing the rogue. Instead, we just both vanished. However, my rogue gets sapped on his vanish, which is really unfortunate. So what I have to do is actually peel for him or else he's going to die um, because we don't have a healer. So my rogue gets into a full kidney shot. I immediately blind the rogue as soon as he pops out. Okay, this is uh, kind of dual purpose. One, I can sap him off and get ready for this next go um, because he's not going to be in stealth. But two, it's to keep my rogue alive, or I guess more importantly, to keep my rogue alive. So rogue goes into the full blind tier. We have no CC on the priest quite yet. But look at this, guys. My rogue is in a fear. I can sap the rogue off this blind. He has no trinket, and the priest is playing relentless, which means he won't have a trinket either. So if we can just get some type of CC on the priest, my rogue maybe blinds the priest, and we kidney shot the rogue in two seconds or three seconds when it's off DR, off the sap perhaps, then we can just win this game upright. So, um, and I have Mark for Death Kidney available for the rogue as well. I don't think my rogue has Mark for Death. So I'm going to have to kidney the rogue because he doesn't have his Mark for Death Kidney ready. And he's going to have to blind the priest because I already blinded the rogue if we want to do that. So it looks like uh, my rogue's running in. He shifts the priest full blind onto the priest. Priest is once going to play relentless, so six more seconds until he can break that. We are going to do a big burst here. Um, this is Dance. This is Blades. I don't have uh, Cold Blood, Gormaz, and I don't have Symbols for like one more second, but the Rogue just dies. We killed him in a bomb right there with both of our Dance Blades, so he just got absolutely destroyed. And these are the small types of windows. Like, you have to be patient, but at the same time, you have to be... Um, you know, you have to seek out opportunities. You have to be an opportunist. You have to see, okay, if we can kill here, we're going to take it. Because uh, if the game goes on too long, sometimes it's really, really hard to live, um, like, you know, because we don't have a healer. I keep saying we don't have a healer. I guess it's kind of stupid. Like, you, got, you know we don't have a healer. But it's really hard. Like, guys, once we, uh, once we get caught, once we get found, we can just die like that. So it's sometimes it's really difficult to win the games. But that's a game against Priest Rogue. Let's show a game against Priest Feral Druid. So here's a strategy against Priest Feral that I want to talk about just briefly. Um, this isn't what we do every game. This isn't like uh, completely standard, but this is a, a stra uh, this is this is a few minutes into the game, by the way. So I, I, I didn't want to show this whole game because we were just trying to find the Feral. Um, I guess I could kind of a brief synopsis that we were trying to find the Feral. Um, we sapped him a few times, but um, I think he might have found us one time. We just vanished instantly, but we don't really want to go. Every time the eyes spawn, we get the eyes and vanish. And we're kind of just waiting till dampening or waiting until we can find the good opportunity. And we kind of find it here eventually. So eyes come out in a few seconds. The priest is sapped. And I think my rogue gets the other eye and vanishes. This eye is about to spawn. And I think um, my other rogue tells me where the feral's at. So he's like, okay, get the eye. The feral's not near you. Um, so I am trying to sap feral, trying to sap feral, trying to sap feral. I grab the eye and vanish. And I spin my camera to kind of find where the feral eyes is. And you can see he's right here um, because I have the eye. So I'm stealth with the eye. So that means I can sap the feral druid because he is still in stealth as well. So what we're going to do here is sap the feral. And I think dampening is around 50, 60%. So dampening is pretty high. And since the dampening is so high, our strategy here is just to all in the priest through every cooldown because he shouldn't be able to survive against two rogues. Because keep in mind, guys, we have a full sap. Uh, we have a half sap, a quarter sap, a full blind, a half blind, and a kidney shot um, onto the Feral Druid for CC. Of course, he has a trinket, so we can get out of any one of those, but only one of those he could get out of. So we full sap the Feral, uh, big damage on the Priest, Myro gets a nice belf on his trinket, we get the pain suppression, going for a resap on the Feral, he trinkets it into the full blind. Um, we actually overlap full blind and half blind, but because uh, we were both spamming the blind on his trinket to make sure we didn't get blood or stunned or whatever, because we're very, very fragile at this time. If we get blood or he pops in card, we're pretty much dead. Um, but yeah, we, we're taking down the priest right here, 100 to 0. And now it's a little scary solo. So I can full kidney feral um, when he gets close, but he does pop that wall. Nice wall by the feral. And we're still playing safe, guys. It might seem a little silly, maybe a little bit silly, but a feral can easily, want, uh, not easily, but a feral could with incarn and dampening 1v2 two rogues. So we want to be very, very careful. Uh, we, sh we should win, right? I'm not saying we should lose, but we use all of our cooldowns. We use both dance charges, cold blood, gormaz, blind, every cooldown to kill the priest, right? So if the Feral, if we were playing kind of reckless and just kind of attacking the Feral right now, he would probably kill both of us because we're both out of cooldowns. That's the Feral's Incarn, 
and you know we would both probably just die so we're playing nice and safe uh, we pop some damage the kidney shot goes out on the feral he pops the wall and you know it's pretty much gg as long as we don't play a little too reckless that's why i'm kind of just running here going for a restell to have that evasion still if i need i think my rogue has his evasion up right now um but you know yeah it's pretty much over now feral's getting low he has no more walls and we're still full hp because we're, we're playing pretty smart but boom there he goes down guys we hit 2500 current rating is double rogue i'm so proud of just being able to do that with my partner shout out to schwapex aka rodak he's a rogue god teaching me the ways of the rogue i've only been playing rogue for a few weeks now and i'm just you know so happy to be able to hit 2500 on it it's just been such a fun time the journey from i remember when you we were starting double rogue we were like 17 1800 and we were learning some strats 1900 2k i was really happy when we hit 2100 really happy when we hit 22 23 24 but to hit 25 it's awesome uh see and ends probably in about two weeks one two three weeks uh, something like that so i don't think we're gonna be able to push uh, t too much higher but we're gonna try we're gonna keep playing it uh because it is so much fun guys if you like this video of kind of how i walked you through the double row games a little bit of the strategy um that we use to uh beat some comps that you might be struggling against this double row make sure to thumbs the video up if you didn't like it you can thumbs the video down that's okay too talk to me in the comments about what you guys want to see for next time and don't forget to subscribe peace